Seeking English, SAT Workbook, page 326, problem 4. You may use a calculator for this problem. I'm going to suggest first try it without a calculator, uh, and then try it with a calculator, um, not necessarily to see whether it goes faster, but to see how much faster it goes and why it goes faster. Um, so since the beginning of 1980, the number of students at State College majoring in computer science has quadrupled every five years. That's quadrupled, okay, every five years. If 5,120 students, 5,120 students at State College were majoring in computer science at the beginning of 2000, how many were majoring in computer science at the beginning of 1980? Um, some nice round figures. Uh, 5120 doesn't look like that round figure, but it's interesting to me. Uh, the zero uh, indicates that something has been multiplied by 10. What's been multiplied by 10 is an exponent of 2. 512 is an exponent of 2. Uh, in, in addition to trying to get more familiar with, with prime numbers before the SAT, I suggest you look at exponents of 2. There are not really that many of them before they start getting quite large, so to to memorize a few of them shouldn't be a big deal. 512 is an exponent of 2. So you've got a quadrupling function, which is, again, uh, exponent of 2, um, going in reverse. Uh, so what you probably should expect at the end of the problem is, is a whole number. It's a number of students. It's probably going to be an exponent of 2 followed by a 0. I'm explaining this so that you can see the inner functioning of the problem before going completely around it as if it's irrelevant. <laughs> it's, not, it's not irrelevant. Try to understand this problem two ways and you'll, you'll get more value out of it. One is the way I'm describing it, which is you take this number 5120, you figure out how many how many four-year periods there were, it's five, how many five-year periods there were uh, in which it gets reduced by one quarter. 5120 gets reduced to one quarter its size in, in a five-year period. So nine, from 2000, uh, how many how many five year periods are there back to 1980? That should be uh, is it four four or five year periods? Yeah, it's 20 years, so it's four or five year periods. So you take 5120, reduce it back to one quarter, one quarter, one quarter, one quarter. Really? Can I do that on paper? Sure. Can you do it on a calculator? Yeah, much faster. So 5120 divide by four, divide by four, divide by four, divide by four. Is that lazy? Yeah. It's also going to get you the correct answer really fast, which is what you want on this test. Again, don't try to prove anything to me or to your algebra teacher or to anyone else during the test. Just make sure that you get the correct answer quickly. Okay, the correct answer is 20. By now you should know that. Take, take a look at the problem again. It's 20. 